Good morning, one and all, and good luck, Liam, in the chat. Yeah, um, right, okay. What I want to do today is I'm going to have a little waffle, a little chat, uh, get I get stuff off my chest, really, and then I'm going to open up the live chat. We'll have a little chat. We'll start with football. We'll probably end up discussing biscuits or Nando's. Probably Nando's will probably be the topic of the day a little bit later on. Um, but I want to draw a line under this Sebastian Hilaire thing. And the way I want to do that is something that myself and Gio stumbled across on um, when we were doing our Patreon podcast the other day, the mug of tea. And it was something that just sort of popped into my head. And um, and I've had a little bit of research on it. So I want to discuss it's quite how wasteful West Ham compared to other clubs are in terms of their record signing. I'm going to go later on. I'll go to the chat. I've just seen Irish Tommy in there. Thunder and Joy, John Corbett, Farmer Chris, Andy, Mighty Badger. The mightiest the mightiest of all the Badgers is Mighty Badger. Tommy, we'll, we'll link up later, mate, and we'll get a video up for tomorrow, my friend. Bobby66, how are you, mate? Right, OK. I'm going to ignore the chat for a little bit and come back to it later. Otherwise, it distracts me. Right. I think we can all agree that West Ham are pretty bad with their transfers and in particular with their record transfers now when i looked at it and i've i've done a video recently and i think you can chart this back to matt jarvis and before i'm really dealing with sullivan and gold rain here matt jarvis we like him but it didn't really work out if you remember we were bringing him in spent 13 million i believe it was from wolves and because at the time he'd just broken into the england team and he had the best crossing stats do you remember that of anybody in the premier league it, it just didn't work out for him nice guy didn't work out for him we spent big i think 17 million on andy carroll but you've got to factor in we'd spent over 2 million on loan fees the season before I'll let you lot decide whether you think Andy Carroll worked out or not. Um, I don't. It was a lot. It was a lot of money. We paid him a lot of wages. I think overall, the transfer and the wages, you're looking at about 60 million. I'll leave you lot to decide whether you think we've got 60 million value out of Andy Carroll. But what it goes to highlight, and here's my point, is that our record signings, we don't do very well at. We then went and bought Andre Ayew. Um, 20 million was our record signing again. It just didn't it just didn't work out for different reasons. I mean, you know, you can go into each one individually as much detail as you want. It didn't work out for Andre Ayo. I felt he fell between the margins as a player. Was he a striker? No. Was he a winger? No, not really. You'd probably play him as almost like a, a number 10 in many respects. But at that time, we had Payet and we had Lanzini and we had players to play in those positions. So sort of what was the what was the point really? It didn't work out. And then you get into more um more recent times, and the Felipe Anderson saga, it hasn't worked out. I don't care what anyone says, and it's quite clear that we've wasted and lost an awful lot of money on Sebastian Haller. Now, you know this because I sort of did this in a video the other day, but what I stumbled across when I was speaking to Gio on, on the mug of tea was I said, I think you'd probably look, if you look to other clubs, we're not isolated. I said, I'd imagine if you look at other clubs, their record signings might not have all worked out. And this is not to say that West Ham have done well. I'm not saying West Ham have done well here. But comparatively, actually, lots of people have done badly. And this is really my point on this. So um, I'm just going to go through a few of them now. I'm working off NBC Sports website here, which obviously it's a US website. And it's in it's in dollars. But you will go with dollars and I'll, I'll let you do the rest. It, it, the gist is the same. It gives you the same vibe. Right. So I want to go through some record signings here and just work out whether they've been successful or whether they haven't been successful. And I just wonder if we might look at things a little bit differently then afterwards. Not to say that it's been good. It's bad. Massive losses. And I want to go into the figures on Sebastian Heller in just a bit because it looks like the net sale. Um, after we've paid everything off, the net sale of Snodgrass and um, and Sebastian Heller, including wages, will yield us um, about £20 million in savings. They're not overall savings. That's once we've already paid Frankfurt sort of £25 million or whatever. Um, so we're still dealing with losses. But I think selling, selling Heller and selling Snodgrass puts about £20 million into the kitty. Um, that may include wages as well. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, let's just go for a few record signings. Paul Pogma is Manchester United's record signing. Now, 
he's a good player, but has it really worked out for him in terms of when you pay that sort of money, which as I, I think it was about 90 million, it says 108 million dollars, but I, I remember it was about 90 million. You really want the best player in the world, don't you? Let's be fair if you're paying that. As it, I don't think it's worked out. I think if Manchester, I mean, here's a question if, if we could have our time again, if we could sign Sebastian Haller again, would we do it? No. Okay, if we could sign Philippe Anderson again and at our time again, at a time machine, a TARDIS, would we go back and sign him? No, we wouldn't go back and sign Philippe Anderson. Would Manchester United sign Paul Pogba? No. Uh, Harry Maguire, they may do. Romelu Lukaku, $97 million. Probably not. It, it didn't really work out for them. Chelsea's was Virgil van Dijk, a massive success. I think every, sorry, not Chelsea, Chelsea has signed Virgil van Dijk. If there's any Chelsea fans, watching, they probably got all excited then. Hey, we've signed an injured Virgil van Dijk. No, uh, Liverpool's Virgil van Dijk. It's worked out for him. A good signing. His Chelsea's, Kepa, I'm going to say this name, Kepa Aritha Balaga. Huh? Good? Ar Aritha, Aritha Balaga. Kepa Aritha Balaga. $91 million. What a failure. He's useless. He is useless. My six-year-old can catch a ball better than he can. All right? And he's stroppy and moody. And they got rid of him. They've replaced him. That's their record signing. A whopping failure. Arsenal's record signing. Pepe. Nicholas. Nicholas. Pe Nick. Nick Pepe. $88 million. It's hard to, you know, with the currency. But you, you, get, you, you get it. You get what I mean. It's a lot of money. Ha if they could have their time again, would they sign Pepe? No. No, they wouldn't. Again, your record signings, your record signing really should be the best player at the club in the last 10 years or something. You can't go back. You can't say at West Ham, the best, our record signing Sebastian Hill has got to be better than Bobby Moore. That, that doesn't make sense. But they've got to be the best signing. West Ham spent 42, 43 million pounds. He's got to be the best signing. He's got to, let's be fair, he's got to be as good as Payet. Right. That's that's what it really should be. When you're spending that sort of money, you're expecting world class. You really, you really are. And, and you know, we didn't really get it all close to world class, breaking into world class. Uh, so, yeah, Pepe, I don't think Arsenal would sign Pepe. Manchester City, Rodri, $80 million. Yeah, they, yeah it's probably been OK. Um, they also signed Riyad Mahrez for $77 million. He's, again, he's probably done OK. Maybe it suggests that, that Man City are a bit better buying players than, than most uh, fancy that. I'll give you another one for Chelsea. Alvaro Morata. $75 million. I don't remember it being 55 million quid at the time. Massive failure. Alvaro Morata. They, they can't even, couldn't even flog him on much. They had to put him out on loan and stuff like that. Um, and City signed Cancelo again. Uh, Laporte. They're not bad players. Um, they signed Raheem Sterling. I think it's City, City spend money quite well, don't they? Let's be fair. But they spend lots of it. And looking back at Mares, it almost doesn't matter if Mares doesn't work out, does it? Let's be fair, because someone else will work out. They spend a lot of money. Bernardo Silva works out or whatever. It, it sort of doesn't matter really for them. Um, Aubameyang for Arsenal was a good signing, you'd have to say. Alisson for Liverpool. So some, some teams do it well. I'll give you one now. $68 million, which was I think was just shy of 50 million quid at the time. Tungai Ndombele for Tottenham. That is a lot of money for Tottenham. Over 50 million quid or just whatever, around 50 million quid for Tottenham. Wasted money. If they could go back, and I like him, by the way, but he's been there two over two and a half years now, and he's not really done anything. He's only started to come good now. So if they had their chance again, would they do it again? I'd imagine they'd probably buy someone else. Gilfie Sigurdsson was 48 million pounds. Gilfie Sigurdsson. Has he provided Everton with 48 million pounds worth of stuff? No. Um, Yuri Tillemans was a good one for Leicester. Is one Watford. This is a whopper, by the way. Ismail Assar for thirty-four million pounds. Now, Ismail Assar was is basically the same price as Philippe Anderson was for us. Oh, I'll tell you what, you look at it; it's almost must must have crippled them. I get a, a terrible signing for Watford, so that hasn't worked out. Um, Joe Linton for Newcastle. Uh, was what was that 37 million 37 million Joe Linton for Newcastle a whopping great failure again I just I just want to reiterate because I know there's people joining all the time you're very welcome I'm not saying this to justify what West Ham West Ham have lost lots of money bad transfers really bad transfers but I'm just saying we're not the only ones I, I miss my point sometimes you look at you can view West Ham as a bubble 
actually we're not. Watford have done, have done useless. Newcastle have done useless. Everton are wasting money. That's Guilfi Sigerson, a Wobi. You'd have to say they've wasted a lot of money. De on Dembele, a waste of money. Christian Benteke, £30 million. £30 million. The guys didn't score a goal for a year. Bournemouth, Jefferson Lerma, £24 million. A lot of money for Bournemouth. Now, while I said earlier on about Sebastian Haller, that when you spend... Um, 43, whatever, £42 million on a player, you want them to be world-class. I understand that when you spend £24 million on a player, you don't expect them to be world-class. But when, you, when you're when Bournemouth and you spend £24 million on a young, up-and-coming, the, the best young player in the France, whatever it is, under-21 team, I don't, I don't know about it, but you, you, know, you, you get my gist. You want a bit more. It's failed. It's failed. And I look at these... Um, Actually, Vestergaard has, has worked out for Southampton. Now, so he's been a good signing. But Southampton do sort of buy well. There's, there's one coming, which is a an absolute whopper, by the way. Um, Wesley for Aston Villa. He's failed. Is he, he's not even in the team. And they spent £25 million on this guy. And they've had to... He was so bad, they had to replace him with Ollie Watkins for £28 million. I mean, th this is bad. There's a lot of, a lot of teams who are terrible are terrible at their, at their top size of record signings. Ollie McBurney, 20 million. Sheffield United, Swansea, Geezer can't score a goal. Honestly, honestly, couldn't it have barn door? Literally couldn't it have barn door? And when you look at these, these big, Kepa Ariza Balaga, Paul Pogba, Nicolas Pepe, Alvaro Morata, um, Endembele, Sigurdsson, Joe Linton, Saar, Benteke, Lerma, Wesley, uh, you, you just start to appreciate that, actually, there's a load of teams who are useless, absolutely useless um, at signing at signing players. And I, I just find it amazing. As I say, I want to reiterate this. I don't, I don't I'm not saying this is justification at West Ham. I think we've been useless. But I just wonder why. Why are people not more prudent? Why? Are people not more diligent with their money? I, I find it absolutely amazing that this is the case. I mean, it really is. It's it's crazy. And, and those are those are the first ones that I that I pulled up there. And that's my point. We sort of operate in a bubble. And I'd imagine that if you go to Everton and you were on like the Everton, whatever the Everton equivalent of Hammers chat is, right? But if you were on the uh, you know um, Everton Everton TV or whatever the case may be. I'd imagine they're whinging about Gilfie Sigurdsson. I'd imagine they're whinging about Alex Awobi. I do sort of, <laughs> certainly, Palace be whinging about Christian Benteke. That being said, I quite like him as a player. I don't think they got the best out of him. But there's a lot of good players there. I wouldn't mind betting that Watford would be saying, if we hadn't wasted that money, wow, uh, 30 and a half million, basically, on Ismail Assar. If we'd have done better there, we probably would have stayed up. We might bet in a Bournemouth thing. If they had have spent Jefferson Lerma money better, they would have stayed up. Um, I, I wonder, Penny for Sheffield United's folks, £20 million on a striker that can't score. Um, I mean, this is, this, is, this is crazy, crazy money. Um, so, yeah, I don't mean when they are good. I mean, lots of people are bad. Um, but it does see... It, I do look at it and I think, yeah, OK... You know, you look at you think Manchester City can spend money. You look at you look, do look at Liverpool, Van Dijk and uh, and Allison. You think your two record signings you got bang on, and if you get your record signings bang on, you 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 go you're going to have to you're gonna you're gonna progress. I, I'm just sorry. I've just I said I won't look at the chat until I've finished my little rant there. This LG is in the chat. My my eye just caught. It. He said this all emphasises the need to have some sort of scouting structure in place. Can't understand how owners don't see this. If done properly, they will save the club money. I mean this this is this is exactly right there. This is the big money. This is not a five million punt on um. Vladimir Soufal, who's on very, very low wages. You've got to factor in all these players that I've mentioned here, be it Pogba, um, Ndombele, Sigurdsson, Lerma, Benteke. These, not only will they be the club's record signings, they're going to be on the highest wages. So it's not just the figures. You're committing yourself to a long-term financial commitment here. Whereas when you buy a player like Vladimir Soufal... I think he's, I don't know, I don't know, we never know, but I think he's on about 30 grand a week. I think he's very happy with that because I don't think he was on a third of that in the Czech Republic, you know. Um, so he's gone, 
he's 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 gone on to earn money basically that is that is going to change his life and and so you know look good on him good on him on that but it doesn't impact the club it's not giving the club a massive liability whereas these are and the losses i'm just going to pull up the um i just want i want to pull up this um this article that sean's done uh, i think it's today about Sebastian Haller and the figures. Um, and it's it's depressing. It's depressing reading, but do you know what? He's not dressed it up as anything. It's it's the it's it's okay. So, so I'll read it to you now. Sebastian Haller was sold for 20.2 million to Ajax. West Ham will receive just over just four million up front, then four more payments of four million over the next four years. So we've sold it for 20.2 million, it's called it 20 million. They're gonna pay that over four years. Robert Snodgrass was sold. For 100 grand I, I don't that i don't mind so much i sort of understand he had no time left in his contract is at the end of his career we didn't you know well we did pay money for him but you know you know what i mean west ham still owe frankfurt 11.5 million okay so the net income for both snodgrass the net income for snodgrass and heller is 8.8 .8 million just let that sink in for a minute heller and snodgrass's wages are 155,000 per week which equates to over eight million a year off the wage bill. Snodgrass only had six months left on his on his um, on his contract, so we've saved about a million quid on Snodgrass. Uh, Haller had one hundred eighty weeks left, which is about twenty minutes. We saved twenty million on wages. Right now, basically, David Moyes will now be able to reinvest the net income of transfers and wages into improving the squad. Now, I, I don't know how you read that. I read that. I read that as we might be able to buy a 20 million pound player. Um, but it's still a massive loss. And here's the point, right? Here's the point. When we sold Sebastian Haller, it shouldn't have afforded us to be able to go and buy a 20 million pound player. So it's a massive loss. It should have afforded us the ability to go and buy a 50 million pound player. Um. However, right. So, but how, however, what all I'm saying is, you look down that list that I just read out of all of those Emden Bellays, um, what kind of Ollie McBurnies, and all, all the all the Jefferson Lerma, Christian Benteke, all those clubs have lost on them. Doesn't make it any better for West Ham, but it does put it into context that actually most of us, with the exception of about three clubs, are bloody useless at recruiting players. Here's what I think, though, and I did want to draw a line under this right i did want to draw a line under this I, I am aware david moyes has said some stuff today we'll get onto it dave texted me earlier and i can see a couple of things popping up in the chat which will not turn my attention fully to we'll talk about your questions and your comments on um on west ham in just a second then we'll probably end up talking about food this is what normally happens right but so if we've got 20 million pounds to spend on a striker i still think despite everything that we've done wrong and it's numerous there's no price. There's nothing good to come out of losing 30 million, which is what we've done, by the way. There's no good to come out of that. It doesn't make you feel any better that everybody else is equally useless as you. Um, however, the little bit of promise I do have, and it's something I said the other day, I look at Bowen, I look at Suchek, I look at Sufa, I look at Ben Rama, and I think actually we seem to be getting a little bit better at this. Um I think there's more value in spending almost 20 million than you, you get for spending all these, these big bucks. The money never should have been spent on Hell Air and, um, and I think particularly Anderson. Here's a, here's a one. I'm, sort of, I'm, I'm going off on a tangent here, but I think we, I think we have more chance of seeing Sebastian Hell Air. I bloody hope they've done a sell on clause in this, by the way. Um, we, I think we have more chance of seeing Sebastian Hell Air on our television screens, banging in goals for Ajax, than we do seeing Felipe Anderson going and playing for another club and playing really well. I, I almost get this nasty sinking feeling that we're seeing the end of Felipe Anderson's career at 27. I don't mean he won't ever sign for a club again, but I, I think I think you'll see Sebastian Lair in the Champions League highlights, stuff like that. You know, Ajax go and play Wolfsburg or whatever the case may be. Sebastian Haller will be in the highlights package. Ajax against Sevilla. Oh, Sebastian Haller scored a goal. There won't be a massive surprise there. Um, I, I don't think the same is true. Um, so I, I think in that respect, I think the Felipe Anderson 
the Philippe. Mate. We didn't suit. We didn't suit Sebastian Haller's style of play. He's a touch player, you know. Wants to be in the round of box. Wants a lot of service. Doesn't do what we want to do, which is run around a lot and pull wide and stuff like that. But he's still a good player in there. Um, I look at Philippe Anderson. I think he's gone. He's he's gone. I, I do anyway. That's, those those are just my um, those are just my feelings. So, I mean, so uh, Kyle has just said he can um, he can go to Brazil. Philippe Anderson. I, I'm not sure. Brazil got some wonderful up-and-coming players. I'm not sure he gets into many teams over there. I don't know. I'd be interested to hear from Daniel. He used to send us the videos um, uh, from Brazil. Um, what was I going to say? Okay. But, however, I do see one only one positive in this, having laboured the, the negatives. And I do want to draw a line under it, as I say. I do think that if we spend, if we can spend £20 million on the player, and we can spend £20 million, like we spend £20 million on... Uh, Jared Bowen, or like we spent whatever it was, eighteen million on Suchek. I, th I think, I think it improves the squad. I do, because I think Sebastian Hare did nothing for the squad in many respects. I, I don't, because I don't think he suited us. I think one more player who is ready to come into the first team, it helps massively. It means we don't have to change. I'm not talking about formation. I'm talking about style and the pace of our play. Means when Antonio's not in the team, we don't have to change the start the pace of our play. Now I'm working on the assumption that we're not going to start an Olivier Giroud, by the way. But I do think this is why I said the other day, I'm actually quite excited for Sebastian Heller to leave. Because once you put all the financials aside, I think it gives us an opportunity to actually get a little bit better as a team. And I'm excited to see who we bring in. Now, um, I am aware, yes, I want to get onto this and then we'll start, I'll start reading from the chat in just a second. Um, and thank you for everybody for joining me on, on Saturday. You, you could be watching Everton instead. You probably are. Maybe, maybe you've got this on your phone and you're watching Everton play. Um, I, I, I am, I am very, very much aware that David Moyes has said today, um, something along the lines of, um, actually, do you know what, oh, never mind that. Dave, Dave actually texted me on it and Dave. Um, let's have a look what David Boy has said so I get the words absolutely right. Um, where are we? Where are we? Okay, so he said, um, we've now created room to bring players in. I think obviously what he means is we got rid of players. Um, and I think he was asked, have you got anyone lined up? He said, no, not really, but we'll try and find the right players to bring in. So that appears that David Moyes is saying we've created some space in the squad. We're going to bring some players in. The surprising thing, and the thing that, that obviously is is going to worry people, is that he said, I don't know. He's more or less said, I don't know. We haven't got anyone in mind. We're going to try and bring players in. I don't believe that for a second. That's, that's tarring David Moyes with the Sullivan brush. I don't think that's the case. There, it, David Moyes would have known for a long, long time that, that Sebastian Heller did not fit his system. David Moyes would have said to David Sullivan, over the last month or two, I, I can't work with this. You've got to get him out of here. I bet David Sullivan has probably turned around to David Moyes and said, we're going to take a massive loss on this guy if I try and sell him. But David Moyes said, I don't care. I can't use him. He doesn't fit my system. At the point that David Moyes has said, I want Heller out. And I think we can all agree that's happened. Heller has not been sold. Um, in, in spite, he's, they've not done a, um, he's not, they've not done a curbishly on him. They've not sold players that he wanted to keep. Everybody would have known that that was the case. And if you agree with that, then they, there's no way David Moyes doesn't have a list in his mind of three, four, five players that he wants to bring in. Maybe, just maybe, remember the video I did the other day about France's um, television deal collapsing? Maybe that has muddied the waters somewhat. Maybe all of a sudden, I remember I said in that video that, that the, the television deal has collapsed. And I said, Canal Plus, um, we're going to go and offer them a third of the money. That still hasn't happened. So actually, at present, there is no TV deal in France. None. Those, those teams are not getting money. Um, not getting money for the turnstiles, not getting money uh, from television. French clubs are a month or two away from going bankrupt, and lots of them are. Um I wonder if that's changed the dynamic slightly that suddenly it's a little bit ruthless, a little bit unscrupulous, but they're looking and they're thinking, hold on, there's rich pickings to be having over there. But I'll be gobsmacked. I, and I mean gobsmacked. It would be it would be the height of incompetence if we hadn't 
Number one, identified those players, and number two, tapped them up. Look, yeah, I know what I'm saying. I, I did notice. I did. Pot, I, I was having a little, a little thing with uh, with Nando's yesterday. I uh, managed to get some chicken in the end. Um, I did a little thing with Nando's yesterday. So I was on Twitter a little bit, and I posted. Oh, blimey! Hey, thank you, Journey. He's just Journey for Life has just donated two pounds to the Nan the Nando's fund. Thank you very much, my friend. Very kindly, and you're you're very welcome. I enjoy I enjoy doing the daily videos anyway. By the way, particularly seeing as uh, we're locked up. But um, I was on um I was on Twitter uh, yesterday. You know, um, and uh, I'll tell you the story. I'll tell you the story after this. But I was on Twitter a little bit, and I noticed that some people were annoyed that Sebastian Haller had been tapped up. Sebastian Haller alluded to the fact that he knew for a little while that he was going to join Ajax. And there were some people, um, you know, thinking, hold on a second, this represents an illegal approach and all the rest of it. It, it probably does, um, but I couldn't be indignant about it because I hope we're approaching clubs illegally as well in that way. Everybody does it. FIFA made a rule. Um, I'd be ri I think we'd, I think we'd, disadvantage i'll slim reaper i'll deal with that in just a second by the way because i'll deal with that in a second um uh, I, I i we're disadvantaged if we don't tap players up so i can't be annoyed with ix for doing it to sebastian Hilaire. because this is where we get it wrong i think sometimes we don't do that and we go and bid for a player like that to let or whatever and then he turns out oh, i don't want to come um that we've had a, we've had a few times or, or whatever um tarkowski we kept on bidding for him we should have just spoken to his agent first by the way um, so I, I, I would hope that there are a number of players who we've already approached and said, do you fancy coming to West Ham and play Sebastian Hilaire? We are a very different proposition now, by the way. Last time we tried it, all these players, Tarkowski included, saw us as relegation team. We're not a relegation team. We should be able to attract better players now. I just want to get on um, to what Slim Reaper said. They said, Gonzo, do you see TV deals collapsing over here? It could happen to the EPL. I'll tell you what I see as a massive difference. And the same I see with, um, excuse me. A llama. I think it's a llama. Um, the massive difference I see over here uh, to France is it's it's pure commercialism. It's pure market forces. They have competition over here. We'll get a TV deal. Um, the French football they were overpaying for a product that wasn't really watched worldwide. That that's firstly. Um, they were it was a it was a, a relatively new Chinese broadcaster as well who bought the rights. So they they collapsed. They could never really afford it. It was similar to the ITV digital, if you remember over here um, uh, in the chat in the championship cards, I think it was. And it, it just collapsed. There, there wasn't a great desire to watch French football. Premier League's very different. But also look, if you sell something on eBay, right? You know, you sometimes you sell it and it gets to whatever two, three days left. You've got one watcher and one bid. You think, ah, oh, that's, that's it. I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting. Oh, well, this is all I'm getting. What you want are a load of watchers and a load of, and a load of bids. So you've got four or five different bidders, and then you know you think, ah, it gets to the last day here. That price is going to go up in the last whatever fifteen minutes of the, of the eBay auction. This is what you have with the Premier League. Um, the the Premier League has got. Sky, the two can't rest on their laurels. Um, Sky have not done, them a, done, done themselves a favour. Sky have asked for a rebate back of 380 million quid, which they got. I don't know why they got it. Sky, I don't know why they got it. Sky got just as much football. In fact, Sky ended up with more football. I don't know why they got a rebate. But anyway, so that won't, I, I, if I was if I was a Premier League, I would not be looking at Sky favourably after doing that. You've got Sky, you've got BT, and you've got Amazon. Now, I'll tell you what, Amazon haven't got poorer during all this pandemic they've got richer and they've got bigger um then you've also got i heard a whisper the other day the the online network uh, dazn apparently they were interested in bidding as well um you've got you've got a lot of players involved in that wouldn't be surprised to see new 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 tube new 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 tube hey that's a good one. Um, I don't I'm not on new tube you'd be pleased to know you know no one wants to see the old the old baps um, baps, chaps, waps, chaps, the old chaps. Uh, anyway, the, the moobs, the moobs, the man boobs. Um, I think there are others as well. Al Jazeera have been um, rumoured uh, to be looking at the rights. I mean, we have massive competition, basically. And I think they're going to get, even if it's not the same, I think they will get a roughly similar amount because a lot of people know the value of Premier League football. So, no, I don't see the same situation happening. Definitely not. We're not in the same situation as the French League at all. Um, 
Right. Anyway, thank you for joining. I'm not going. Um, I'm not going up just yet. I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have a look at the chat. See what you're all saying. Um, and I'm sure you're all saying lots and lots and lots. So, um, LG said I'd like to uh, see a sign a striker in this window and then get King on a pre-contract agreement for the summer. Oh, we need to sign a striker. We need to sign him now. Uh, Kent says Amazon is coming up on the rails. I watch him get more, more football. It's bound to happen. Yeah, I mean, this, this, this is what I think is, is the case. And they haven't done a bad job. Whenever I've watched it, it, it works. I'm always worried about um, streaming. Um, do you know ah Abster Dabs? That's a good name. Abster Dabs. Do you know about Dia? Yes, I do. He looks good. He looks good. I'm I'm quite excited to see this kid. I want to get into these targets in a second? Actually, have a little talk about them. Um, Nick H has donated um seven ninety nine dollars. Thank you, Nick. You are a very kind man. He says I'm from I'm from Australia, so I'm slightly unaware of the situation in the UK. But do you think the Prem will be cancelled soon? Um, thanks for the donation, Nick. It's uh, he's, he's unaware of the situation. Okay, okay. Uh, things have got a little bit worse in the last twenty four hours in in the UK. The um, the I uh, let me just try and stop that chat there a second. Um, uh, the th in the last twenty four hours, things have changed uh, slightly somewhat. The mayor of London has turned around and said they have a major incident. Um, and coronavirus. He's basically used really strong language. Coronavirus is out of control. Um, and hospitals are overrun. I mean, that's strong language. And I don't disparage, regardless of what, you know, he's, he's a divisive character, the old London mayor, regardless of what you think about him. He is a politician and he will try and choose his words carefully. Those are strong words for, for a politician to use and he will know the gravity of them. Um, so things are getting worse here. However, the Premier League are at pains to try and prove that they can do it clean. And they're trying to bring in some new rules. I don't know if you remember Lanzini last week. Got He was pictured at a party with a lot of Tottenham um, players. I think it was a New Year's party or a Christmas party. Uh, it wasn't just Tottenham players. It was all their families. They, they looked in the picture. There was 20, 25 people. And um, I think the Premier League want to stamp out on that and bring in rules for anybody that, that breaks it because they want to show the government, look, the Premier League can do it clean and our testing is very good. I've got a friend. He might even be watching. He's not. He's, um, he's, a, Crystal, he's a Crystal Palace fan, but he's a, he's a good friend of mine. He might even be uh, tuning in. He gets tests um, at the moment and he can get his test because of what he's doing. Um, he's a key worker and what he does. Um, he gets a test and he gets uh, results in half an hour. And I think the um, the Premier League is is running a similar thing. I think they get tested very, very quickly. So hopefully it can keep up and keep running. But thank you for the donation, Matt. It's very kind of you. Tommy, I'll tell you what, Tommy, we'll have a little link up. We're going to get a video up probably tomorrow. Let's, de let's deal with this, mate. I'll save your question. You can, we'll jump on a video and we'll, uh, we'll do a bit of, we'll do a bit of that, my friend. And you can tell us what you think of, um, of Diop. Uh, right. Where else have we got here? Um, <laughs> uh, do you think we should storm GSB like USA? We're, we're a little bit, uh, we're a little bit more reserved. I say we're, but we're not reserved, don't we? Riots over here and everything, don't we? But um, uh, uh, no. Anyway, and David Gold probably just take off in his helicopter as well. And um, yeah, yeah. Anyway, bring Peach says bring silver back. I wonder if he means money. I doubt he means the striker. Howdy hammers, hi Gonzo. Am I too late? No, you're not sketch. You are right on time. You might have to rewind and see the start of the show. That was all the uh, I basically spent the start of the show listing, um, listing everybody else's record signings, and you'll be comforted slightly to know, mate, that um that everyone else has wasted lots of money as well. Be it Aston Villa, Bournemouth, uh, Everton, Crystal Palace, um, Watford. Uh, Manchester United, lots of teams completely screw up their record signing and lose a ton of money. Um, but there we go. Um, it's just looking, Sam Green says, just look at Bayern's Champion League winning side last year. I believe the most they paid for a player in that squad was around 20 million. Is that so? Just some people are just better at spending money than others. And I don't just mean in football. Um, uh, by, the, by the way, on that one. Uh, Kent says, Pellegrini wasted so much money on rubbish due to the club not scouting properly and having a proper ethos at the club. Moyes would never have wasted that. Um, yeah, Look, I don't think Moyes is going to have the money to spend that Pellegrini did, so he's got a bit more crafty. He's got to be more careful. I think the, the big thing about Pellegrini, yes, you're right. These these players, um, and which is why Tommy wanted to throw Diop in there, but these players like Sebastian Haller and... Um, 
and Philippe May Anderson, who were brought in under Pellegrini's reign. I think the real, the real silly thing about all of that was just purely because <laughs> we had a director of football who was brought in by the manager himself. And the manager's son was employed as a scout. Pellegrini, so was it a, a Jean, Juan, Juan, Juan Pellegrini? You know, what I'm not really, no, I'm not with names. Probably, probably neither. Um, and Husselos's son, Juan Husselos. I don't know if it was Juan. Um, Mickey, Tommy, Tommy Husselos, um, whatever it was. They both, both employed their sons. So even with, with that collective um, knowledge of the game, they still couldn't get the transfers right. And that's what that's a bit of a bit of a worry about that. Um, Bayern can attract whoever they want. Yeah, I mean that's true, John. That that is that is true. But I would say, I would say that we are in a better position now. We're not the start of the season relegation. West Ham. We can now. Uh, we are more attractive. Not as attractive as Bayern. Bayern Munich with their under Holson on. Um, but we are in our own sort of. Speedos type of way, we are more attractive than um, than we were at the start of the season. We're a mid-table team, uh, which is this is why I think Allardyce is why well, I brought Snodgrass in. Allardyce is going to struggle to attract players because he's going to look at the league, they're going to look at the points, and they're going to look at what um, West Brom have done thus far, and they're going to players are going to think I don't fancy that. I'm not players are going to know they're signing up for six six months in the Premier League, then they're going down, and I don't think anybody wants that. Um, they might have viewed West Ham like that before, but not now. Well, so West Ham can now have got a little bit more about them. That's that's what I think. Uh, one-legged Steve-O, hello, my friend. I've got your second email, by the way. I'll reply to you uh, later on, but uh, nice to hear from you, mate. Nice to hear, and we'll get, we will get that we will get that run in, my friend. Um, uh, Abster Dabs. This is my favourite name of the day, actually. It says, here in East London, hospitals are filling up. It's really bad. Ambulances are getting thousands of calls per day. Yeah, uh, uh, Abs, Absy, Absy boy, Absy baby. We, uh, yeah, my wife works in hospital. Everyone knows this. Everyone's like, that again. Yes, yeah, it's, it's tough. It's tough, mate. It's tough at the moment. Uh, right, OK. Acid Joke says, Kent Hammer's so important. We now start buying with a sensible, sustainable future. My brother, he's like, absolutely right. Stephen Pilgrim. Gonzo, if we bring in only one strike and he's young and he's going to have a massive pressure on his shoulders that could backfire uh so, do you know what and now it's bloody jumped to the bottom not you it's not your the chat's jumped right to the bottom oh it's annoying um oh no there it is it, it could backfire but we do have an old squad we i can't remember this is uh, someone to bring the stat up we got one of the oldest average the average age is bad all right we need to bring it down and that, that needs to be done. It doesn't mean there's a difference between a young striker who's never played before and a young striker who might have had fifty hundred, you know, um, professional appearances. I think there's a, I think there's a balance there. A young striker that's already played two seasons in a top flight, I think that's, I think that's fine. I think that's absolutely fine. Um, I like, I like the look of the boy. I like the look of the boy, old Adam Losek. I keep saying that. I'd love to think we could sign him. He looks really, really good. Um, I think Moyes is sensible enough um, for the money from Haller to, to go and get us a better striker than Haller. Look, it's not about, I, I, look, I, yes, I agree. It's not necessarily about being a better striker than Haller. It's a different striker than Haller who works better for our team. Um, Vinay says, uh, Nicky West Ham fan team has a theory that Haller thought he could do a telekinesis to the ball, so he did not run. Yeah, I mean, look, he did run. He just does what wasn't very fast at it. I, I think he's just a touch player, and he wanted, he wanted, he basically wanted the ball up to him to flick it off and then turn, and then it, I think it will suit him. I actually, it wasn't working for us. Um, oh, apparently Bayern did spend money anyway. Whatever. Um, hello, Gary. Hope you well. Eve, Gary says evening, mate. Gary, Gary, what, what have you done? What, what, what are you doing? What do you mean evening? It's not evening. Where are you? In fact, unless you've moved, Gary, have you moved? Is it evening? I'll say good evening. I don't think you are. I think you're, I think you're still in London, mate. And yeah, he said, would you be happy if we got one striker and gave Rice and Moyes a new contract? Yes. Um, um, sketch. Sorry, I call him Sketch. A uh, schizo base says, is there any credible news on new signings? Um, he's in Ireland. It's not evening in Ireland, is it? By the way, um, I wouldn't say credible news. I, I think they want to stop the news. I'm going to just reiterate what I said. It's been a long time since we got a massive heads up on a transfer and we knew ages before. These things have happened quick and, and we've not not had much notice on it. No notice. 
no notice on Suchek. I mean, really, you know, before he signed. Um, in terms of uh, Souffal, hardly any notice on that. Um, I mean, it, Bowen was Bowen was different. It's not like somebody said West Ham were definitely going to sign Bowen. I had lots of people saying West Ham should sign Ollie Watkins, Bowen, Ben Rama, um, Eze for West Ham, and West Ham are interested in these players. There's very different to a generalised group of players who West Ham should sign and actually go in and sign in one. So actually, anybody saying we are in talks to sign Bowen? I mean, it happened earliest two two days before, something like that. There wasn't a lot. So uh, my, my point is, I don't think there is going to be any credible news on signing. I really, really don't. Uh, for those of you who joined, loads of you have joined. Uh, earlier on in the video, I went through a list of players which is why you're probably thinking I'm, I'm taking from the chat now. Earlier, I went for a list of players, record signings at other clubs who have also done equally badly. That was the gist of it. I went through uh, for their rec people, not just West Ham spend badly on their record signings. Paul Pogba, Kepa Arita Balaga from Chelsea, 91 million. Unbelievable. Alvaro Morata at Chelsea. Uh, these, these are crazy. Um, Crazy things, actually. Endombele at Tottenham. Gilfie Sigurdsson. Joe Linton at Newcastle. It's Malasar. £34 million. Pounds. Um, unbelievable. Christian Benteke. Jefferson Lerma. Uh, Wesley at Aston Villa. Ollie McBurney. £20 million pounds for a striker that can't score. My, that was just what the start of the video was about. If you wanted to go back and watch it, if you don't, you don't have to now. You've just seen, you've just heard basically what I said earlier. It's basically, we waste money and so do lots of other teams as well. Um, uh, Journey for Life said, I still think 22 years of DR, he needs more time on loan. I, I, I tell you what, I, I think you might, I think you might need some time on loan. I think you benefit from playing for a team for a year. But what you can't do when you're a team of West Ham sides is spend twenty three million pound on a player and send him out on loan. West Ham spent twenty three million pound on a player. He's got not only has he got to have a, a big part to play in the squad. He's, he's really should be playing in the team. Um, <laughs> Steve Pellegrini, yeah, absolutely. Um, Haller did not play himself knowingly in the later stages. I, I think. Um, I think. I think what you're trying to say there is he didn't put himself out, as you know he's going to be he was going to be off, and I agree, I agree with that. Um, no one's talking about what would happen if Rice gets sold; it could be a crisis. I mean, to, uh, to be fair, Paul, I think they have, and I think they will. It's just this is the new story at the moment, mate. And I, um, you know, I think that's that's the thing. I think every West Ham fan is is concerned. Uh, it's just this is it, how that stuff is current, and it's it's a bigger story. I mean, yeah, that would be. That wouldn't be good at all. He's been so good for West Ham, hasn't he? Right, sorry. It's all skipped to the bottom. I'm sorry. I can't. This just this bloody. Um, a, it's a good question, actually. Uh, he said, George Mayer says, is Hlosek a striker or a winger? I think you're seeing a bit of both from the clips that I've seen. Um, so I think he's he's a, he's a big guy, but he's fast enough and he pulls out wide. He, he looked a little bit like, um, what's his name? Brent Harland. Is that his name? Burnt? <laughs> Burnt. <laughs> Burnt. <laughs> Burn Harland, he's the crispy one. Um, what's his name? Uh, actually, don't don't put it in the chat, otherwise it will just clog up the. Uh, <laughs> it'll just anyway, whatever. Um, whatever. I think he looks a bit like Harland, you know, the one at Borussia Dortmund. Um, but he's he has the ability to pull out wide as well, which I do think is what we want our striker to do. Uh, there we there we go. Um, uh, Lincoln Lincoln thinks Gary's drunk, which is why he's saying good evening. Um, uh, so, uh, Ken Hammer says, Hello, Yarmolenko, Sanchez, Anderson, Diop, decent signers, but that was only one Pellegrini did tactical designers. So blah, 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 blah. Yeah, absolutely right. Uh, Irish Tommy says, If we have genuine interest in this Czech lad, we'd better get him sharpish as he has eyes on him. Yes. Yes. Yeah, abs abs absolutely. Yeah, we, we need to move. We can't hang about. But I I think, I think, we, we I just cannot believe that we don't, we are not already in negotiation with players. I can't think that this is the perfect time. There's been a nice break between the last Premier League game and the next one. Now is the time to buy the player. Uh, ben says, hey, Gonzo, how's it going? Have you seen... I don't know. What are you saying? I don't even know what you're saying. Well, I, well firstly, I'm, I'm going well. I don't know what you're asking there, though, mate, I'm afraid. Um, I said, well, he, he said he wants to sign a, wants us to sign a Dean Ashton type striker. To be fair, I, I did read that. You said that in a comment the other day, didn't you? As well, not too many of them um, around. I think the thing I'd say about Ashton, Ashton was brilliant. Ashton wasn't particularly quick. 
I, I, I really think now is an opportunity. I know 20 million to spend on a player ain't a lot, but it's 20 million pounds. I think if what all we've got is 20 million pounds to spend on a player, I want him to be a quick player. Okay. That's what, that's what I want. I think it's, it's very, very important. I think it's important to the dynamic of the team. Um, Slim Reaper says against Leeds, saw how slow and laboured Haller was. The players kept trying to push, push him. I almost read that as punish him. Like, get a move on. Um, but he wasn't ever up for it. He was he wasn't up for a punishment, was he? To be fair, uh, no. Uh, I, I mean, a few people have said they they felt that uh, that people stopped passing him the ball. I, I saw, I could sort of see that. Um, you know, they try and go it on their own and, and whatnot. I, I think that's sort of right, really. Um, but James said in his video yesterday, didn't he, of course? Uh, Fornell is the only success from the Pellegrini era. Yeah. Um, well, Fabianski, I guess, as well. But they would... Um, but I'm, I'm, nitp I'm nitpicking. Yeah, you, 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 the gist of what you're saying is right. Most of them failed, didn't they? And particularly the big money ones. Um, do you think Sullivan uses his six touches to get transfers done? Um, abs, abs, the dabs. I don't... Um, I don't know about this dungeon. Um, if he does, uh, I'm not sure how successful it is. Um, although Sebastian Heller did look like it. by the end of it, he had a hard time, didn't he? To be fair, um, it's a nasty thought, isn't it? Let's be fair. Uh, did he mean Tenet? Did he mean Tenet? Sorry, can I just say this? I'm going to digress now. There's a film at the moment um, called Tenet. I don't understand what's going on. I don't know. I watched it. I don't understand. There's a bit of time travel. I'm normally quite good with the old time travel. I don't mean I can do it. I don't mean I can travel in, so I'm not a time lord. I don't understand what the film was about. I, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Made no sense at all. Discovery of Witches is back on now. Those second series, quite like that. Anyway, where are we? Our losses are deductible, um, but as the contract is written down, it's, uh, yeah, I... Do you know what, John? The thing is, whether they're deductible, whether they're not, it's, it's bloody bad business practice. I tell you what, to keep losing money from, you know, and they'll keep doing it. I mean, particularly at a time we're losing money anyway, because there's no fans in and, and all the rest of it. Um, Moyes said he wanted to stop these leaks from coming out of the club, so I definitely say a striker's on the card. Slim is exactly what I feel as well. I, I expect Moyes to go in there and to say, oh, I don't know, we haven't got anyone. And that's what should be happening, rather than what was happening before. I'm absolutely right. Duvet dancer, we like that. Do you dance on the duvet? Do you get on the bed and bounce up and down and dance? And I'd like to know. Um, when's the next lad coming from Slavia Prague? Um, okay, uh, okay. So this the other one. This no lad. I've been educated is Sparta Prague. It's like the difference between Manchester United and Manchester City. Um, so I don't know when we get another Slavia Prague player, but I want the Sparta Prague player. If that. I think it could make sense, doesn't it? Um, sign a good striker, um, go for top four. That's ne next level. That's what GSB promised. Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest with you, mate. Even I've given up on uh, Vinay. Even I've given up on next. Oh, blimey. I'm not saying the same position at all. Um, even I've given up on next level in that sense. But I do think I do think one more fast striker and the difference that, that getting rid of Haller and bringing someone more suited to the team brings in. Is it next level? No. But I do think it might make the difference between... 10th and 8th or something like that and I'm, I'm all for that because it's, it's more wins I'm, I'm about enjoying the games um, you know do I remember Shevchenko yeah do you know what funny enough actually Harry do you know Harry had Shevchenko on loan not on loan on trial at West Ham before he became the Shevchenko you know like the world class Shevchenko um, no okay I'm behind in the chat actually I say, apologies um, for all that um, did you hear Gonzo Snodgrass's song? I had to fast forward. That's not very good, Neil. That's it. Neil said to me, don't give up the day job. I, I already have. There is no day job. He said, don't sing again. I will sing again, Neil. I will sing again. Don't worry about that. Um, oh, someone's saying about Bamford. Uh, OK, so Gonzo, search uh, the Tenet explanation video on YouTube and make more sense. I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that. Thank you for the thank you for the tip. If I have to go and watch a video to explain a film that I've just watched, I, I don't want to. I don't want to know. But the fact that there is a video out there explaining Tenet um, would um, would would suggest that I'm probably not on my own in not understanding. And I'm I'm more than happy um, with that 
uh ray borum ray, ray mondo's in the chat he likes back to the future which is fine um apparently yeah uh, sorry phil from kent who is not obviously not um not the other kent says um not clark kent obviously says apparently suchek has recommended a striker yeah that, that was the guy that i was just speaking about a minute ago which is adam losek um uh, Graham Miller said, I always thought Halaire had smoked a joint before each case so it's made back and chill. Maybe, may, maybe that maybe that was the answer. Maybe it was just a little bit, a little bit too um chilled out. Um Halle fell because he wasn't what Pellegrini wanted. Uh we spent the whole of the transfer to chasing Max Gomez. That that did well, I'm not sure about what he wanted, but we did spend the whole of the window chasing Maxi Gomez, who I've got to say also looked dog slow. He looked dog slow. Um, how did how did he get? He went to Valencia, didn't he? Is he still scoring? I, I wonder. Um, uh, right. What else? What else was there? Oh, I was going to tell you about Nando's, wasn't I? So, um, so anyway, I, I did. I did this. I did the song. And I, I put it on. I put it on YouTube and um, and I put it on Twitter as well. Um, and, I, and I renamed myself on Twitter Elton Gonzo. Now, at the same time, I um, in fact, I'll try and show you the picture here, right? So, I had a Nando's the other day, right? Let me get me, let me get the gallery up. I'll show you a picture. I had a Nando's the other day. I just you not, right? Now, this is this is the small kids' version, but that is how many chips. Can you see that? We're in the box. I'm serious. I hadn't doctored that or anything. That's how many chips are in the box at Nando's, right? So I, I I just did this I did this tweet right hold on I'm gonna I'm gonna I'll, I'll try and get a whole there's better technology other people do it more because you meant to bring screen I'll just try and do it by showing you me phone right um, so anyway I, I basically uh, put this put this thing up right saying come on Nando's this is uh, this is disgusting not many chips here <laughs> and Nando's Nando's I don't know if you can see that. Nando's followed me, right? So Nando's followed me, um, and I, I and they and they sent me a message saying we're really sorry about all of this. But I remember at this time, because of the Elton John song, I've changed my name to Elton, right? Um, and I just found it funny anyway. So Nando's got back in touch with me and said, um, "Have you got a Nando's card?" I said, "Yes." I said, "Look, we've, we've put some credits on your Nando's card, but sorry about the chips." And um, and I said, look, it's all very well giving me um, some extra chicken or whatever, but you need to sort it out because it's the second time it's happened. It's no good just if, if it's no good you sorting me out and then the next person that orders chips gets three chips. You need to have a word with a branch. So they said, all right. So anyway, they sent me a message back and basically they said they're going to give that information back to them. And this is from Nando's. It just made me laugh. Um, Nando's actually um, actually think my name is Elton, which I quite liked. So there you go. So apparently they've apparently all well, the colours gone in them. Um, anyway, yeah, apparently they've um, apparently they've taken it very very seriously. So uh, here we go. That's the Nando story. Hope you enjoyed that. Right. Um, where are we? Let's let's go with uh, let's go with a few more. What we've got. Right. We'll take it up to the hour mark. Fifty three minutes. We'll stop. We'll stop on the hour. I believe uh, it is a sparrows portion. By the way, whoever said that? Sorry, it, it sort of disappeared. Um, Duvet does a good song. Thank you very much, Duvet. I do. Uh, I will be doing. I might go do a bit of Tom Jones next. Neil's Neil's looking forward to that. I know. Um, Adama Troyer would be a great signing. Yes. Oh, yes, he would. Have you seen how Sociedad transformed the stadium? It was similar to ours. I haven't actually. Um, there you go. Sketch didn't like Tenet either. Compared to Inception, it was difficult to follow. I don't. Did I really get Inception? I don't know. Maybe I'm just thick. I think I'm thick. Um, uh, it wasn't even enough. Migsy, it's not even enough for a chip butty. It wasn't really, was it? And the, do you know what the fun the thing was on that? We got the other portion. I was meant to have the piri chips, which is meant to be covered in, in spices and piri sauce. It didn't have any on it. And neither did my wife. Um, so there we go. But all, all over it was it was a bad it was a bad experience um and uh and, and but I, I said i said to him i said to him in the chat i said to be fair you're only doing this because i've made a fuss of it on twitter and there's a few people following me if someone's on there with five followers right on twitter and they complain to you about your chips i bet you're doing nothing for them i said so you need to sort i said you need to sort it i need to sort it out on a branch do you know what i mean um 
I'll take Triore or Dembele about now. Any Dembele? Any Dembele, Charlie? I've got to be honest with you, I've got a confession to make. I don't really like that Dembele. It just sort of, the whole thing, you know, ran away with me and, and the Dembele and the, the whole Dembele-isms and, the, you know, the, the, the compendium of Dembele's and the hamper of Dembele's. And I've got, I've got quite a lot of fun talking about Dembele's, but actually I would rather a Traore than a Dembele. All right? Just so as we're clear on that, by the way. Um... I'm talking about the one at Leon here, right? I don't... <laughs> I'm obsessed with pace. I don't think he's quite fast enough. Adama Traore. <laughs> Rapid. Rapido. Rapidos. He's a different player. Rapid. Rapidos actually it sounds... Anyway, it doesn't matter, does it? doesn't matter. Um, they gave you an extra chip for free. I've not seen... Apparently, I've got... I don't know how if you can log on to a Nando's card. I've not seen what they've given me. <laughs> you mentioned if it's just a portion of chips. Um, if they do that, I'm going to make a song about Nando's and I'm going to feature the footage in it. There you go. They won't They won't like that. They won't like that very much. They sent me a message saying... Uh, we, we assumed, because it was getting a little bit of traffic and stuff like that, um, and somebody had said, maybe you should do a song about Nando's. And uh, and they said to me, well, we assume this this issue is now closed, which is basically them saying you're you're not going to sing about us or do anything, are you? Um, I'll have a look. Uh, right, Traore and Antonio up front. Well, yeah, it would be a nightmare, wouldn't it? Um, it would be good fun as well. Uh, I watched... There you go. I'm going to say something that's going to uh, annoy people now. Um... I watched, this is from Phil McDonald. He said, I watched a video explaining the ending of The Sopranos. I watched the first three episodes of Sopranos. I didn't like it. Which I know is, is sacrilege. People love their Sopranos. People are mad about The Sopranos. I didn't like it. There you go. Um, Martin, it took him the whole entire movie to understand Tenet. Um, but only right at the end. I must again make another confession. I did fall asleep three times during Tenet, which I'm not blaming on myself or the or the, or the new cushion at the back of the sofa, which is nice for me. Neck. I had a bit of a. I spent the last six weeks with really sort of bad shoulder and neck. Um, so I've got a new cushion. I was like, oh, it just makes me fall asleep, which is lovely. Um, but I'll blame it on the film being so crap is why I fell asleep rather than the cushion. Um, hello, Martin. Late to the party, mate. Late to the party. Um, Everton are winning one nil. Good for them. Good. Oh, is it? Is it Sigurdsson that scored? I mean, what I said at the start of the video. Uh, season five of The Expanse. The Expanse. Hold on. Let's have a look. The Expanse television series. The Expanse. Um. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Maybe I'll give that a watch. I do like a bit of sci-fi. I've got to be honest with you. Geo Geo doesn't like his sci-fi. I like a bit of sci-fi. Um, never heard of it. Search up Real Sociedad Stadium. What now? We're going to struggle. We've only we've only got two minutes left. Let's have a let's have a look. I might I might extend it slightly. Uh, Real Sociedad. Real Sociedad Stadium. Um, images. I'll just click on images, shall I? Abs the Debs. Oh, I can see it before with the... Tr yeah, yeah, okay. It looks nothing like it, does it? Yeah, it doesn't actually even look like it used to have a track. Yeah, okay. Fair point. Fair point. Yeah, it looks good. It looks good. It does look very, very good. Um, yeah, fair point. Fair point. Right. Gonzo, uh, okay, one-legged Steve-O. Let's hold on, Steve-O, my old son. Let's have a look. Uh, Phil Maccook's in the house, by the way. What happens uh, to get in our comments up on the screen? Uh, um, I, I'll, I'll do that next time. It was. It's a little bit technical for me, which is why I'm flashing my phone up um, and showing you pictures on there. Next time, my friend, I, I wasn't sure that it would work with this, and I needed to get it done quickly. Um and I didn't have ages to set up. Uh, ever watched The Wire? Yes. Yes, I did watch The Wire. I quite liked I qu Actually, I quite liked the first or second series. I think then it lost its way. Um, I watched it after. Um, I watched it quite late. So by the time I watched it, 
it, Idris Elba was quite a big actor, so I was a bit shocked that actually I can't say that. Something about why can't do spoilers. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to say anymore. Um, real, real sausage dad says James. Um, okay, couple more things. Uh, oh, sorry, one legged Steve. I said, Gonzo, don't you worry. Hlosek will be put into the under 21 and never seen again. I tell you what, not if we spend 20 million on him, he won't, mate. Uh, a farmer Chris says, I'm not really a fan of American TV, definitely prefer UK dramas. So do I, so do I. But Netflix are kicking out some good stuff. Yeah, I do tend to prefer. Do you ever see that one, The Missing, with James Nesbitt? Oh, wow, that was that was summit. Oh, Gangs of London. Oh, that's that's a bit good as well. Save Me, Save Me is brilliant, brilliant. Um, I like that actor. I can't think of his name. He's in Walking Dead and he was in Snatch as well. Very good. Um, don't watch it, Gonzo. It'll make you sick. What? What will make me sick? What they the old whatever it was called, the the Expanse. I don't want anything to make me sick. Um, did I hear? Hold on, where's it gone? You lot type too quick. Did you hear that? Pee Wee Herman. Uh, I, who's Pee Wee Herman? Who on earth is Pee Wee Herman? I'm very sad news. Sad news. Are you? Am I? Is this Pee Wee Herman? Images Pee Wee Herman. Oh, he's in a film that my children watch. I won't tell him. Yeah, he's in a film that my children watch. Um, I can't even think. I can't even. I don't even. I, yeah, no, I, I didn't. I didn't know that. Breaking Bad was excellent. Um, Ivan Tony put in a solid performance against Tottenham. Um, oh, okay, it's a striker that they replaced Watkins with, isn't it? Um, Mixy says, uh, Gonzo, first few episodes is a bit slow. I don't mind that, actually, in a lot of things, apart from The Sopranos. I don't mind seeing something through. Um, real saucy dad. Have you seen The Mandalorian? Yeah, that's a long. I, I'm not sure this is place the place for it. Um, really. Um, Ro. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I have. I'm into the second season of it. Um, but but it, I've got to say, it's it's hard work. It's hard work. I, I watched Rogue One again the other day. That's so good. That's so bloody good. Um. Pipeless Car says, Gonzo, have you seen The Silent Library? And no, I haven't heard about it either. That was a, a joke, you see. Um, uh, where are we? Yeah, look, I'm, I'm aware people are raving about The Mandalorian. Um, and I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. Henry Park says, look who it is. Gonzo is live again. I am not for much longer, though, Henry. We're, we're going to skedaddle in a minute. Vikings on Prime. Uh, I didn't get on with Vikings, mate, to be perfectly honest with you. Um... Again, I watched the first two series of it. Uh, yeah. Ragnar Lofbrook. That was his name, wasn't it? Uh, I, I, I do, funny enough, i tell you what I watch a lot of, and I still watch it, and it's one of my favourite things on TV, is Curb Your Enthusiasm. I, I sort of watched them over and over again. I, I just love it. Absolutely love it. The Punisher. Okay, I watched the first three of The Punisher and couldn't really get on with it. Um, the, the Punisher. There you go. That's what I wanted him to say. Um, the Punisher. Um, I thought the trailer was always better than the uh, than the actual um, Punisher um, it's, itself. Uh, where else we got? A robe or more? Jello JC said morning, Gons. Hold on, hold on. You, you're typing quick again. You've got to slow down. Um, Gonzo, do you like uh, Top Gear? Uh, yeah, I, I used to like Top Gear. Uh, obviously, it, it stopped. And then um, I'm not mad on cars, I've got to be honest with you. I don't think I'm mad. I like, I, like, I like being in them when it's raining and stuff like that. And I like not walking to places. But I don't know a lot about cars. I can tell you the difference between an Astra and a Focus and things like that. I don't mean I know nothing. Um, but I don't, um, I don't sort of lust over cars i don't know oh yeah um a bugatti and, and this that and the other so i don't know i'm not particularly interested whether a bugatti is faster than a ferrari or faster than a porsche or, or this that and the other um i do appreciate a nice car and and, and I, I i even i've even had two uh half decent cars or three in my time um uh, but they were all second hand because I wouldn't have to afford them, no. Uh, but uh, but I quite like it when they do the journeys and stuff like that. So I started watching one 
um because they do the grand tour now don't they so i started watching one where they were in some boats um oh where were we i think they might have been in cambodia or, or so i quite like those i quite like those those ones because i do think they're um they are they are entertaining um uh, the, the actual review of the, when they review the latest volkswagen golf uh, you know I'm not, not, i don't really care to be perfectly honest with you um are you waiting for Stranger Things season four? Yeah, I think we're waiting for a little while. I mean, just a great show, really, isn't it? Um, uh, Peter Darlow says uh, Rogue One is the, the best in the saga. Yeah, I mean, it's just very, very, very good. Um, have I seen The Boys? The Boys. I tell you what, I don't know what The Boys is. Uh, anyone seen Cherry Tree Lane? Whoa, that's a shocker, by the way. Um. I'll tell you a good film. We'll talk about English film now. Ill Manners. Ill Manners. Um, the Boys is a television series. The Boys is a television series. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, who said that? Where are you? <laughs> um, Robert. Have you... Robert, he's got a cape on. They've got capes on. No, no, I've just seen no, 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 I can't, I can't, I can't, I won't, I cannot, I cannot, they're just a picture of what she wearing, I wish I was on the other software because I'd share the screen with you, we'll do, we'll do that, we'll do that one day next week, we'll have a, we'll have a, maybe we'll have a non-football, myself and Gio are doing this on Patreon, we've got, we've got something to do on there, but, but I can't, that is, I can't watch that. Um, um, Rogue Way, oh, so we've done that. Yet yeah, Stranger Things, we love that. Um, I don't know what you're, that's two of you talking with each other. That's what you're saying there. Um, enjoy yourself and stop talking smack about the Mandalorian. I'm not talking smack about it. I'm not talking smack about it. I'm just, I haven't said anything about it. I said it, it's probably a whole video in itself. I'm not. I'm not said anything at all. I'm I'm into the second season of it, is is what I'm saying. Um uh <laughs> anyway, uh oh I've, I've got it right. How do we say that? Let's Kiriakos. Kiriakos says I love Curb. It's brilliant. Um the boys is my kind of evening in oh and what have i got see that is give me some give me something give it a chance gonzo what have i got to give a chance um what have i got to give a chance to we've talked about so many things um watch a trailer for the boys well not now obviously um watch a trailer for the boys. you want me to watch okay i'll watch a trailer for the boys henry and peter say i must okay well it's quite a Okay, all right, fair enough, fair enough. I'll get. I'll. I will watch a trailer for the boys. Um, oh, James Gunn, his favourite place in Canterbury is uh, is called the Cherry Tree. Yeah, I mean Cherry Tree Lane is a play on um the uh, it's the road in Mary Poppins, isn't it? Cherry Tree Lane, but this Cherry Tree has nothing like Mary Poppins. Um, I can tell you. Um. Gonzo, you seriously need to watch the boys on Prime Video. I got it. I got older. I think you can see. You see that? Look at that. This amazing, amazing. All the things. All the things. By the way, um, very gory and very sweary. I don't know what I'm talking about. We're we talking about a Soprano still, or is that? That superheroes one everyone's saying trust us gonzo it's one of the best things on tv at the moment what this boys thing is it um uh harry says what do you reckon we signed nobody this winter harry unfortunately this is a part of the show we've almost drifted off the west end which one of viewers have dropped but the juicy stuff is here um we um uh we will sign someone i don't believe that for a second the boys is an adult superhero show cynical and dark okay okay all right okay all right. All right. I'll get, I'll, I will give the trailer a go at least. Um, it's Gonzo's of three. Go through the prequel dimension. Um, Eddie's, Eddie's saying you'd love the boys. It's. It, it, hold on. Hold on a second. Hold on. Crack. He's going too quick. You lot. Uh, 
yeah, yeah, this is this is this is crazy. I do appreciate you all being. Um, I do appreciate you all being in the chat, but it's enough. Move quick. Uh, okay, killing the ones with the capes on. Right. I don't know who Carl Urban is. Urban. Uh, the boys' superpowers used for Eva. Okay, all right. You're winning me over here. You're winning me over. Um, have you? Um, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I saw it the other day. Advertised. I haven't seen it in a while. I know it's different. It's like Wolf Creek, not the number two and number three. Wolf Creek. That's a good film, by the way. That is a good film. Amsterdam's. Do you know any Arabs that can buy West Ham? I don't. I think they. If they would have done, they would have done it already. Um, they would they would have done it, wouldn't they? Um, I I don't know them. I don't. I'm not saying if, if I look. I tell you what. If I knew a, a billionaire Arab, I'd have probably I'd have probably said, "Oi, my microphone, my microphone's broken. This one's broken, so I'm using this one now." And even this one has only got two legs. It's meant to have three legs. Can you see where it snaps off? I'll probably be sorting out the microphone, getting the shed sorted out. I probably wouldn't be worried about um how many chips I get in my Nando's box. Um, I'll be saying, buy me a Nando's. Um, then, I, then I might. Um, have, I, no, 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 no. Sorry. Have you seen the Human Centipede? No, and I wouldn't. I do not like all that, all that stuff. I, I watched one. What's the geezer's name? They did loads of them. Jigsaw. What? They, what are those films called? Saw. No, 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 no. I saw the first one of them. No, 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 no. Not for me at all. Um, Star Trek Discoveries. I like Star Trek. It's it's um, excuse me, that's my stomach. I do apologize. I've got to go out of Santa away. Um, yeah, look, they've, they've called a lady Michael Burnham, which is the thing. But I, I do like my Star Trek. Um, it got a bit. It just got a little bit too much. I believe it or not. I like the old Voyager and stuff like that. But I haven't watched it in years, to be fair. Um, it's probably very dated. It's probably aged very poorly that. Um, Gonzo, watch whatever you like. You've got fantastic taste as it is. I just so I mentioned uh, Ozark earlier. Ozark, very, very good, by the way. Look forward to another one of those. What's uh, Buster J <laughs> says? What's the best family friendly show with no naughtiness? Oh, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I should. I should know. We watch films. We what? We do watch films. We watch a lot of films. I'm sure everyone does. Everyone's stuck at home, aren't they? Are watching a lot of films. In terms of a series and a show that we all watch, um, it is it is more films. Um, I mean, the kids have enjoyed uh, uh, a strange things, but the, the, the very little one can't watch it because it would scare the, the what's it's out of her. But she, funny enough, because we got the, the pinball machine there, which got a demigorgon on it. You basically. You've got to play basically that this flat comes down and it reveals a demigorgon. You've got to basically hit the pinballs into the demigorgon. So she knows what a demigorgon is, um, but we're pretty sure it's going to frighten the hell out of her if she uh, if she watches it on the telly. So, um, so yeah, we, we've not it's not really family friendly in that in that sense. Um, there's a proper good news series on Netflix called Friends. My daughter, my 13 year old daughter, has just finished watching Friends. It has been. And I mean, you've got to remember, I was around when Friends was out the first time, obviously. Um, and uh, my girlfriend at the time used to watch it all the time. So I, I have seen Friends. So, for my, so to have to watch it again, I don't have to watch it, but it's on. Do you know what I mean? Oh, fortunately, we got to the last episode. She said she said to me, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. She said, I feel sad that it's ended as a series. What am I going to do? I thought, just get him. Nice dad, me, you see. Um, do, do, do you know? Friends is Netflix top yielding um, series for money. They made all this new stuff. Net, um, Friends makes Netflix the most money. Funny, isn't it? even though they never made it. Uh, the Orville, that's, that's a bird that sits on Keith Harris's arm. Uh, Forty Towers. Forty Towers. I mean, who could not like Manuel in Forty Towers? Uh, abs uh, um, what's it? Andrew Sachs, isn't it? Andrew Sachs. Oh, I, 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 I love all, all of that, all of that stuff. I, I love um, John Cleese. Absolutely brilliant. Prunella Scales in it is is uh, is fantastic. Um, Black Adder is is probably my my favourite of, of all of all the comedies. But I mean, Forty Towers is, is brilliant. The, the, I, it's funny actually. I was going to say modern. You know, The Office isn't modern. It's twenty years old now. But it was it was the best thing that they've been in years. The Office was was 
was wonderful. I'm not sure how much I openly laugh at it. I think I cringe, but it's absolutely uh, brilliant. Okay. Um, Sketch wants me to watch the boys. As, oh, all right. I will, wa I will watch the boys. All right. I will do it. All right. I will do it. You, you lovely people. Is there a name for uh, people who try and impose their TV viewing habits on everyone else? Yes, they're called West Ham fans who subscribe to Hammer's chat. That, that's what those people are, are called. Um, and I, I, I will give that a go because I am looking for, for something else. Everton won, Rotherham. Everton won, Rotherham won. Um, that's that. I, I've got no more results. Those are the classified results. I've no more results to read out. Good morning from Detroit, boys. Oh, oh, sorry. Good morning from Detroit. Boys, season one was dark but good. Ted Lasso on the Apple... I, I don't know. Oh, oh, OK. Apple Plus is obviously something else you can watch. Um, I've been recommended... Uh, he's been recommended this show for the COVID blues um, that he's got, which is Ted Lasso. I don't... I, maybe, I'm not even sure my little magic box has got Apple Plus on it. Um, what else we got here? Industry on the BBC. Not seen that. Not seen that. Don't even know. Uh, I guess it's all going so fast. And he's never watched Friends. Uh, you're you're all right. There. Wouldn't, wouldn't be in a rush, Andy. Um, it's very. Uh, uh, who would be my choice? A number one in centre midfield, Gonzo. I'll tell you what. I'd be approaching Tottenham for Endon Belly, saying you wasted your money there. Give him to us. Um, currently I've got a Scooby who's available, good or fit Pipe Patrol in 2021, so that's my stomach if you like Curb, um, you can't be liking Friends, I didn't say I liked Friends I said I did, I said I was pleased when it ended um, oh mate, you're probably not talking to me, are you, to be perfectly honest with you um, uh, Robert, Friends I found very amusing Only Fools and Horses beats the granny up. I, they, they're not two you'd compare, are they? Friends and Only Fools and Horses um, They're not the, the same people uh, da, da, da. I can't find anything on Netflix Just watch Andy Carroll's overhead kick and repeat for two hours <laughs> um, uh, James also likes Black Anna, which is good uh, Manuel El Fornicador Which is not a TV series, uh, of course That's a, uh, That is Manuel El Fornicador Is what would happen if Pablo Fornells and um, if you have a Manuel Lanzini at a baby, maybe. Um, James says, Friends is great if you want to disengage the old brain and just watch something easy. They're, they're, uh, it's not though, because it goes on for years and years and years, and one after the other and after the other. And five weeks later, I'm going in there. My daughter's name is Chloe. I'm saying, Chloe, are you still watching Friends? She was not in, not not anymore. She's not. She's got to find something else now. Um, right, I'm going to wrap this up now. I am starving, my old lovelies. Um, I am absolutely starving. Peaky Blinders is excellent, by the way. Um, da, 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 da. It's so hard. Uh, uh, anyway, I've got to go. I've got to go. Um, I've got to go. I've got to go. I, I said the trouble is I find it so hard to end these streams once I start talking. Um, oh, well, Phil Kent says Saw films are excellent. The whole series linked together. I'm not missing out. I'm not missing out. It's nastiness. Gory nastiness. Um, Andy Walsh said cheers out and you are very welcome. Um, very, very welcome. Uh, Andy, thanks for thanks for keeping an eye on this Motley crew. They're so well behaved. You've got nothing to do with you. The old moderators here, James and, um, and Raimondo and Andy. There's nothing to do. Everyone's very nice, aren't they? Um, Remember, don't let the Pringles touch your nose. Is that that's is that an Elton John song? Um, absolutely. It's it's. I'm looking pretty beautiful with the old nose today. It's almost gone to blemish. I must say. Um, give us a song before you go. Goodbye, Robert Snodgrass. That's all you're getting um, for today. Be good. Stay safe. Everyone. Please do stay safe. It's mental out there, by the way. The news. If you watch the news at the moment. It's mental, and I mean that, I mean that. Do bloody take care of yourself, all right? All right, wash your hands and your dinkles and, and everything else and, and any other bits that you might have. Do that, do that anyway. Um, be careful. Um, if someone sneezes around you, hold your breath. Not until you die, no. See, this is where you get the good, the good COVID uh, tips. Um, Pete Fountain wants a song uh, for Halea. Um, 
Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, look, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do another song at some point. They're quite uh, labour intensive. And I've got, it's, it's, I've got a little issue. I, I am, um, I'm on eBay. I'm on eBay at the moment. I'm on eBay. Waiting for a desperate person who wants to sell their microphone. Um, listen, see you all later. Thanks for joining in. Take care. Speak to you soon. See you tomorrow. Uh, late, later on today, myself and Gio are up. We're going to have a, we're going to preview um, the stock. I was going to say the scum fork game. There's no scum fork. Um, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to research Stockport. I'm going to find out some things about Stockport. Ready for that. Tune in later on tonight. See you later. Thank you very much indeed. Goodbye. <laughs>